Hello guys, meet Wampo X1 Pro, a hidden gem that I should get earlier. It is a 720p LCD projector with Android 9 built-in, loaded with 350 NC lumens, 2000 to 1 contrast ratio, 20,000 LED land life, and a 3 watt speaker. Come with electronic 4-way keystone correction support. It also supports HDMI ARC, 4K HDR input and decoding that didn't mention by one fall. Alright, let's have a closer look at it. By the way, Banggood Black Friday sales starts from now until November 28th. Free shipping, more than 70% off and a lot of goodies for you and me. Be sure to go to Banggood website to find out more. Build quality is great with sturdy ABX plastic housing, medium in size, simple white outlook as you can see. There is a multi-layer coated glass lens and IR receiver located in the front. Manual focus and hardware vertical keystone adjustment are supported. 3 watt speaker and hissing with fan are located on the left, followed by air intake with a removable dust filter on the right. IR receiver, HDMI ARC port, USB port, headphone jack, AV input, status LED light, power button, and AC input are located at the back. Navigation buttons without menu are located on the top. Four large anti ski pads at the bottom to provide stability. The black one is the dust filter. Lastly, a standard camera mount hole at the center. That's all. Here are the included accessories. Infrared remote control for navigation. No video cable is included this round. Power call with EU plug. No worries, you can change it easily. Finally, a useful and details user manual. As usual, take your time to go through it. X1 Pro supports screen sizes from 30 inch to 120 inch, suitable for both day and night. As usual, the smaller the screen, the brighter you will get. 30 inch is the best during the day. You can go up to 120 inch in the totally dark room. For the best experience, keep it below 80 inch. It will be your budget home cinema for movies. Perfect for games too. Just like other budget projectors. You need to calibrate X1 Pro to get the best result. Yes, be sure to do so. Image quality, contrast and colors are outstanding after calibrated. Yes, you are getting 72% NTSC color gamut here. The best budget 720p Android projectors that I have tested so far. In addition, the anti-analyzing filter on Android OS makes everything looks even nicer. HDMI does not have this filter though. Text performance is great. You can present PowerPoint to your group member during the work. 
Good enough for daylight usage as long as below 40 inch screen size. For extreme tests, X1 Pro is performing very well. Corners are sharp and in focus. 720p resolution can perform well on smaller text too. It is very handy to use X1 Pro as media player. It's an Android projector after all. Just plug in USB hard drive, will do. You can play almost every type of video format through software like Kodi. Again, a lot of audio codecs are supported. Subtitle too. Photo viewing is as simple as ABC, working smoothly. The built-in 3W speaker is decent, clear and suitable for quiet room. Lastly, the fan noise level is great. You won't hear fan noise at all during music or movie playback. 4K resolution input with HDR decoding support. And a lot of refresh rate are supported too. Video playback performance is about the same between HDMI and Android OS itself. Both 24Hz and 50Hz are great and smooth. 60Hz is the best with perfectly smooth playback. Excellent for games, no doubt. This 24P video is being played back through HDMI with external player. The Android OS itself can play it smoothly too. X1 Pro is performing well on both highlights and shadows. Nice colors too. And it is suitable for movie, no doubt. Again, a nice budget home cinema. Outstanding performance in this 4K 60p video. Perfectly smooth video playback is what you get. Fifty Hertz is performing great as well. You can enjoy Chinese TV dramas all day long. Wampo X1 Pro is loaded with non-official Android TV 9 firmware using custom launcher instead of the officially one. Fast and smooth thanks to powerful MediaTek chipset. 1GB of RAM and 8GB of storage are good enough for daily usage. As usual, you can install the application that you need from Google Play Store. Do take note that this is Android TV OS. So, only those apps with rumor control support can be found here. The same apply to games. You can find most of the gamepad and remote control supported games there. No worries. You can install apps and games through APK method. Alright, 
Let's have a look at the settings. Everything is pretty much straightforward. Four projection modes for different types of mounting. Just pick the one that suits you. Automatically, vertical keystone adjustment is supported. June function is there for you and me. Four way keystone adjustment is supported too. No worry. No more video playback shuttering issue like T2 Max anymore. As always, direct projection without any adjustment gives the best image quality. For input, it supports AV, HDMI, and USB. Here is the media center. It supports OTF firmware update. Using the latest one here. Select the initial boot source that you prefer. Multiple languages are supported. Just pick the one that suits you. All right, here is the advanced stuff. Take your time to play around with them. I have not seen anything like this before. There is really a lot of stuff that you can configure. You have the usual picture modes, other adjustments like brightness, contrast, and so on. Color temperature adjustment in RGB that I love the most. and a lot more than I do not know what they are without proper user manual. The same applies to sound settings. You can adjust the usual bass and travel values. Enable surround sound that actually sounds better. Yes, it supports HDMI ARC through PCM and CEC. However, I can't get past through and Dolby Digital to work though. Miracast. A Play and eShare mirroring are supported. Great for both Android and iOS devices. As you can see, wireless mirroring is working smoothly. You can share photos and play videos on X1 Pro easily. All thanks to decent 2.4 gig band wireless connection. Around 18 Mac is what you get. Be sure to force 40 Mac bandwidth in your wireless router. FYI, Bluetooth connection is fast and stable. Let's have a look at the most common streaming app now, YouTube. Everything is working smoothly as expected, and it can stream 1080p 60 frames per second content through wireless easily. As expected, non-Android TV Netflix was installed. Mouse is preferred for this version. A lot easier to navigate than the remote control. It supports SD format only. Don't expect Full HD video playback on non-certified device. Wow, I'm surprised that this little guy can actually play 4K videos and decode HDR contents smoothly. You can play it through wireless too, if you want. Just like this video clip. How about gaming on Android projector itself? The casual ones are okay. X1 
Max 1 Pro passed the input lag test with flying colors. 8 millisecond response time with game mode enabled. Be sure to turn on it, and you will get the best budget gaming projector. As usual, Pingball is used to test projector gaming ability. Perfectly smooth on the Nintendo Switch game console. And ultra fast response too. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I knew this was coming. Everybody give me your best shot. Oh no! This has been Trisha Takanawa with the news. And now I will have my normal post news review from my mom in her car. Uh oh. That's all for OnePo X1 Pro review. An outstanding 720p Android projector for the price. Period. It may not be the brightest and sharpest projector, but for the price, you can't go wrong with it. Don't believe me? See, it's ranking in my top projector chart. As always, please use my referral link to shop. It will help me a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and thumb up too. Thanks. I'm Jace. Glad to see you around. Peace.